Lots of decals. We got lots of them. So the point of this video is I'm going to be using our four most popular decals, showing you where you can put them on, uh, using a little bit of creativity where we've seen them put on, uh, how to apply them, how to clean the surface, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, uh, we use an IPA alcohol to clean the surface. Um, if you are wanting to have this on for a long time, we recommend buffing it. Recommended, but not necessary. Um, I'd say most of the decals that we install, we're not buffing the paints in a uh, decent condition where we don't have to. So here are, is one of our fat stripes in one of our small universal, uh, stripes. This one doesn't have gaps. This one does slightly different installation. So what's nice about these is that they just peel right off and go on when, and these ones you can stretch, bend and apply as needed when these ones are more set like there's not really much stretching because they are attached to the transfer tape and the transfer tape tape does not stretch so uh these are really cool applied right here on the front added down here or even added this way which is funny because the toyota 40th edition forerunner has these decals basically on it which is kind of interesting um Originally our idea, but guess what? Here we are. So um, for these, I will always apply the front part section and then due to the curvature, I will add pressure right here in the middle and then you can just push it straight back. Pull this guy back a little bit. Like it. And this one will not wrap all the way underneath if you choose to angle it. Um, you can see I left a little bit uh, to play with that we could have scooted it down. Um, most of the time though, we'll wrap under this, cut it, and uh, just to where you just see the colors. So for this, you leave it up in that section, bring your blade, you wanna press up against the plastic not cutting the plastic and then down here you'll add pressure down here on the bottom i typically will bring it out just a little bit grab this transfer tape here on the corner geez that transfer tape does not want to come off the lunch does it boom then once you got those cut, you can press these edges. Seal the edges, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is get some heat. Heat treat them, uh, heat treat all the edges, make sure everything's prepped down. This is air release, so if you do get a, a bubble, uh, lightly put pressure on it and hold it, and you'll feel the air leaving the vinyl, and the bubble will go away. So, anyway, there's a good spot for them. Um, let's go over here. I'll show you the, a cool technique with these. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I wanted to save it for this one because it is kind of a cool spot. Um, I'm going to use one of our fat stripes. So a lot of people ask, do you put the yellow toward the middle of the outside? How do you do it? We always put the yellow toward the middle of the vehicle. So example, if you're putting something on the passenger side, you want the yellow to be pointing inside. And then if you go to the driver's side, you would install it this way. So because we're on the passenger side, we'll put it right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tack the bottom side. Like, and then what I'll do is, uh, most of the time I'll heat it. Sometimes you don't have to. Okay, it's called a cold stretch. Okay. Then at this point is when I'll grab a little bit of heat. Just a little bit, not a lot. You just don't want to warp the decal. Actually, I'm going to press this. Okay, because we put tension on it pulling across, you're going to heat it up. 
relax it again. Once you relax it, you can grab your squeegee and the piston in the groove. Cool. I'll grab my knife here. You can just run the knife gently. I want to use as little knife as possible here. Find the groove. One thing you can do is you grab your heat gun, heat the edges real well. You can see how the stripe kind of narrowed out because I stretched it too far and it went back out. So that's something you can watch out for. It's kind of nice making mistakes on camera because you guys can see what we're talking about. So once you heat it, there's your stripe. So this works a lot better with the fat stripe because you can move it like this. The one with the transfer tape, the small universal won't stretch because of the transfer, because uh, the transfer tape doesn't. So you'd have to like install each stripe individually if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, another idea for uh, installing these stripes. Next, let's go back here. Um, these are our uh, bed decals. Uh, it's basically one for each side. So for this one, we're going to install it this way. I already cleaned the surface with alcohol. But we'll come in here. I typically will give it about a quarter inch of a gap between the top. And then you can start from the bottom. It's best with a squeegee. But some people don't have squeegees, so it's kind of cool to show you. I will do it if we do not. This. And you don't want to pull the tape off this way. You kind of want to pull it low. Instead of pulling it like this, you want to pull it low so it doesn't rip off your decal or ruin it. This is our classic color, not our heritage, so it's a little bit brighter. And then you'll grab your heat gun. Heat all the edges, not too much heat, just enough to seal the edges. And you're golden with that one. So now we're on the back part of the vehicle. Um, I have a medium fat stripe, a four wave, and another four wave. Um, you could also do these decals right here on the surface, so like one on each side if you wanted to. So if you were to do something like this, Something like that, and put one on the other side. Or you could upgrade from there and get a little bit bigger of one, like a four wave. I think these ones fit best back here. See how, what happens when you don't heat treat stuff? How easy it comes off? So if I were to heat treat that, much stronger. Make sure you heat treating, putting some pressure on there. Then this is a four wave. So if you want to toss this one on. And again, this can be applied anywhere. This is super high quality vehicle uh, vinyl. So you don't have to worry about it peeling your paint or ruining it over the long run. It's also super crooked. <laughs> yeah, also very, very crooked. You'll typically want to make a line with tape and whatnot, but just ideas so that you can kind of see what they look like. And like where to apply them. Um, another one that we've seen done is this is a four wave decal. As we've seen one applied down here beneath the license plate. This one's a red, white, and blue. So you can do simple stuff like that, which 
I think it's pretty dang cool. Adds accent colors to your vehicle, but it's not too much. Then uh, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you one of these larger ones, spread out and cut in a more unique way. So we've seen people put them here, which actually look kind of cool. Then we've also seen people put them here, which is also kind of cool. Um, then people put them here, stripe on the back window there. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this to put right here. This vinyl has microscopic little silicone balls on the bottom of it that allow it to slide on the surface without sticking. And then it'll only stick once you apply pressure and the silicone balls are pressed up into the adhesive. So now the adhesive can now touch the, the surface of the vehicle. So put that there. And the reason we're showing you guys the these installs is because not everyone wants to take the decals that they buy over to a professional shop. Even though we recommend it, um, most people want to install these simple decals by themselves on their own vehicles, swap them out, do whatever they want to with them. So these are just ideas, simple installs that you guys can tackle. and then we would heat treat that. Okay, back here at the front fender, what we're gonna be doing is a medium, or sorry, uh, uh, yeah, a medium fat stripe. One of our newer decals that we're huge fans of because they're super easy to install. But typically what we'll do is we'll tack up here on the top, and then what you do is you'll work your way down Let me ask, where do you get these squeegees? You can find them on Amazon. I think you can buy a kit for 10 bucks maybe. Five bucks if you just need the squeegee. What we can do is a little bit of pressure, tack here, roll up the middle, and it'll stretch it just enough. Span that gap, and then we'll do a little and release the pressure there. Cool. And there's even better trim tools than this, uh, like really, really thin ones. This is just like the most common trim tool that you apply vinyl with. And then up here, what we'll do is we'll bring the blade short. Like that. And then what you do is you pop the hood. And then these things can get pressed down into there. So that you have color on the inside of the fender. So. Uh, now that those are applied, what we typically do is get some heat. So you can see that, those are little air bubbles. And you add heat. And the way you do is you can just press them out to see if they're any more pop up. Oh, here's some, see all those? Now you do is you warm them up just a little bit and you press them out. There's one. Down the other one. This is a cast vinyl, so it will not shrink. Um, it is a UV protectant lamb, meaning that uh, it should last three to five years when applied properly, proper heat. Um, I also would not run it through a wash or get it wet for 24 to 48 hours and try to keep it in a garage. Uh, for example, if, uh, if I just put this decal on, I take it outside in the cold, cold, um, there is a likelihood of uh, it not setting properly so you want to try to keep it warm for at least 24 hours so that it adheres properly to the vehicle and uh your decal will last uh the length that you want it to 
So anyway, if you have any questions or if you want to see us install one of our decals in a specific location, leave it in the comments below. We'll toss it in another YouTube video for you guys to check out. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.